Hello my beautiful collective and welcome to La Ebony Tarot. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal reading, all information is in the description box below. Please make sure you are reading through everything before reaching out to me for a booking. And then when you reach out to me, you should already know the reading that you want because you've already followed the instructions, okay? So... My beautiful collective, today we're going to be doing a general reading. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa. So just take what resonates, switch the gender, switch the roles, do what you've got to do. But whatever you don't got to do, that's right. Comment me in the comments, okay? So the overall energy we have for you is celebrate sisterhood in a big way. And at the bottom of the deck, we have transformation, okay? So this does not have to be to do with just women, okay? So like I said, you can change the genders, okay? But what I feel like this is saying is for some of you, there's going to be a transformation in your life when it comes to um your support system, okay? So if you feel like you're not getting the support of people, maybe you feel like your friends, your family or your lover isn't supporting you, or maybe you don't have anybody around you right now. Um, I feel like there is a Scorpio or a Gemini that's very significant in your life, does not have to be okay, but I feel like you're going to be receiving um, communication from people around you. People kind of want to come together with you. They want to work together with you as well. In this card, you can see, you know, one's lighter and one's darker, okay? So I feel like um, I'm hearing something about your shadow side and your light side balancing out, coming together. So this could just be you transforming yourself, seeing the good, the bad, the ugly, and the brilliant, and kind of merging it all into one or this could be somebody um wanting to merge with you i'm getting something about collaborations as well so there could be somebody that wants to collaborate with you okay so that's really gorgeous energy okay but i feel like there's going to be a shift there may be a fresh start as well with some of you okay now for some of you i'm getting something about like lesbianism or um the lgbt community okay or like women or female empowerment so this could be something to do with feminine feminism sorry <laughs> But it does not have to be okay also i feel like there's like a masculine energy or like a male that is changing their ways on how they view um women or you may be um if you're like a woman maybe a lot of guys tend to talk to you like you're like an object or whatever so i feel like that's going to change people are going to be a bit more supportive and a bit more um chivalrous towards you okay um, but yeah, for some of you, this could be, like I said, to do with your family, to do with like loved ones, okay? If you were like in the spotlight, your audience or um your followers, your subscribers, your, I don't know, what's another word, TikTokers, whatever social platform you're on, I feel like a lot of people are going to be um supporting you, okay? Yeah. Sharing you, I'm getting, or people want to work with you. I'm hearing something about let's go live together. So, for some of you, if you have a YouTube account, maybe somebody wants to join forces with you, they want to go live with you, or somebody may have like a vlog or something like that. Okay, this could be something to do with hair as well. I'm hearing something about a big chop. Maybe some of you have cut your hair recently or you've changed your hair, it really suits you. For some of you, you could be going natural as well. Okay. For some of you, this is to do with love because we have young natural love underneath, okay? So maybe somebody wants to come together with you. Somebody's very supportive of you, okay? So let's just see where this is going. So big transformations, big changes. For some of you, look out for butter butterflies. You may be dreaming about butterflies as well. So pay attention to that and look that up, especially the colors of the butterflies. They are that The color of the butterfly is very significant, okay? Um, could be abundance is coming towards you, okay? So let's just see where this is going. So that was the overall energy. So it could change. Okay. Ooh, okay, let's see what has come out. So we have the scholar that wanted to come out. And then we have demigod. Okay, so we had this in the last reading. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like um, maybe there's some information that you have come into or you've learned about something. And it's allowing you to transform your way of thinking. Because you see, she's kind of like... um. She's shaving her hair then. As I always say, our hair is our antennas. It's where we store our information. It's where we receive our information. So I feel like for some of you, you're getting a complete and utter new perspective on a situation, on a subject, on a person, or on the world in general, okay? Um, I also feel like there's somebody that's like studying you, okay? Maybe they want to approach you. Maybe they want to speak to you, okay? For some of you, you could be changing your studies as well. Maybe you want to go in... Um, you want to learn something new. Some of you could be going to like university or you want to go to school or something like that, okay? But I feel like somebody here is like um, 
they're changing their thought process or they have like a completely um different concept of something is what i'm getting here okay someone also sees you as someone who's very very smart okay yeah so somebody here could be a teacher a mentor okay maybe you're like a role model of some kind okay or somebody just oh my goodness yeah the student wanted to come out so yeah there's definitely a lot here to do with learning okay so maybe you've been studying something independently or like i said you could be going on a course or something but it's like you've you found a completely new perspective um due to something that you have read or something that you have listened to so this could be like an audio book this could be like your lecturer may have said something to you or like i said you maybe you're a teacher and you're um thinking about a different way to kind of teach um people things you're going like against the grain or you're you're um doing something in like a creative way okay or maybe you're trying to um you're going like outside of the curriculum is what i'm hearing i think something about philosophy maybe some of you are studying that okay yeah we have the mirror yeah it's like you're looking into something and it's like it's changed your um perception of something but again somebody is studying you because with these two cards i kind of get um like the page of swords energy so a lot of research a lot of investigating some of you could be like a private investigator maybe somebody's investigating you maybe that's something that you want to do maybe you like have a um you like to watch and study people <laughs> okay so you're thinking okay how can i use these skills and get paid for it okay because you know rather than just being like a creep or whatever okay yeah I and mean, then we have the spirit not say that you're a creep but you know what i mean then we have the spirit guide that wanted to come out okay so triangles may be very significant for some of you could be a trying a grand tri grand trine you could have grand trines in your oh my goodness look for trines in your charts okay Woo, sorry guys but yeah some of you definitely um your guides to somebody someone is looking at you as a guide or somebody is being guided to you maybe some of you are doing a lot of your own independent research about you know astrology astronomy what it really means what is spirituality okay maybe this is something you're teaching people as well like you could have like a channel where you're doing like you know tarot study or astrology study like you're, you're you're teaching people or people look up to you okay but your ancestors your spirit guides are around you so pay attention it's almost like he's looking at her and he's kind of like, girl, you know, you taught me so much, man. You elevated me, man. You know, I didn't know nothing until I met you. Nothing. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, somebody who's like a, sap a sapiosexual, like someone who's like really attractive and like they like to read and they like to study. Oof, yes, honey, yes. Don't you like that? Somebody who's like well-educated. Mm. I guess my mouth is watering. <laughs> okay oh my gosh see look just poking myself in the eye and all sorts yeah yes we got the divine masculine at the bottom of the deck gorgeous energy hello oh and then the athlete look at all these men like what's going on hello and then the artist yeah so some of you have a creative way of doing something okay but yeah someone here's like elevated so with the divine masculine energy that's like someone who's like mastered themselves or they've mastered a, a way of being so yeah like i said for some of you in the beginning if this is like a male energy it's almost like you know he's elevated himself now he's like a divine masculine level so now he knows how to kind of like shoot his shot and like approach the person that he wants like maybe he back in the day he was like a player like wanted to play games and things like that but it's almost like someone has kind of like matured here they've grown up due to like um life lessons i want to say okay well this could be you you know if you're if you're um you know waiting for somebody to come towards you it's happening okay with these energies that are coming out Okay, so yeah, something is, is shifting in your life. So I'm just getting a lot of support and a lot of genuine love from like high vibrational people. Okay, people who have done the work. So good energy, beautiful. All right, so let's just see where this is going. So please clarify the scholar. So we have um the psychic that wanted to come out. Yeah, it reads... Sia, clairvoyant, aware, preternatural, telepathy, mentalist, inner knowing, a mastermind. Yeah, I feel like somebody here has mastered oneself. Okay, they may have gone through a lot with the um, angel of misfortune at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Now, for some of you, somebody could be sad without you. Maybe they are going to readers or they're going to psychics and they're like trying to study your behavior, trying to study your emotions, trying to tap in. Because it's like somebody wants to know that like if they approach you... um. 
it's almost like say i want to talk to someone and i'm like oh i don't know how it's gonna go so it's like i'm gonna watch like 10 readings 10 love readings um to see okay what does the reader say like say a reader's like oh yeah you're gonna reach out and you're gonna be really happy or you're gonna be really you know annoyed to hear from this person it's almost like someone's trying to figure out how they want to approach you um before they approach you like someone's like obsessed with like the outcome of something here now for some of you somebody like i said someone has learned a lot from you so for some of you you could be spiritual practitioners you could be very intuitive you could be um clairvoyant okay i feel like somebody um you have helped somebody to expand their mind to kind of like search the depths of their psyche okay like someone is like um someone feels like you have taught them a lot spiritually or someone kind of like really believes in your gifts like someone really truly feels like you are gifted okay this could be you as well maybe you're enhancing your gifts you're studying things in, in order to um to help you to kind of um amplify your intuitive abilities okay now for some of you as well with the you know sorrow at the bottom of the deck i feel like there is someone that's like sad they're missing you okay if you are a reader this person watches you or like i said this person watches a lot of readings about you okay maybe they pull cards on you as well you could have like a telepathic um connection with someone so we have the fairy that wanted to come out yeah somebody here's like really magical it reads magic spirits fantasy immortality surprises alluring beauty omens and change yeah omens so look out for the symbols a lot of onuous things are going to be happening to you okay but this is on top of the student so yeah, I feel like you're being drawn to something or someone is very drawn to you. If you see like flashes in the corner of your eye, that's like um, um, fairies around you. So just pay attention. Okay, but I feel like some of you are very alluring and very magical. You could be studying magic or the occult or you're studying something mystical here, okay? Or somebody just thinks that you're you're a mystic and they find that very attractive okay i feel like if you have a loving connection with someone like with the immortality here it's almost like something that doesn't die yeah because oh my goodness I even see that we have the um the angel of romance is at the bottom of the deck which reads love so yeah there's a lot of like you know genuine love now for some of you, you may be meeting your true love your true divine counterpart like I said, somebody who is elevated because, you know, underneath we've got the athlete and this card can talk about like, you know, playing games or being a player or, you know, achieving goals, success, having a hobby. But I feel like it's like from boy to man. So somebody has really elevated here. Someone is like ready for love. OK, or they're ready to kind of um, I just heard take on the world. Oh, well, OK. Gorgeous energy. Somebody could be trying to study love as well. Maybe somebody's like reading about it, like the love frequency, what it actually means to be loving, kind and compassionate. Maybe somebody's studying the heart chakra. Okay. But somebody here is very mystical, very magical, very um, celestial and cosmetic and just beautiful. Okay. So please clarify the spirit guide. So we have, yeah, we have the third eye chakra, which reads, I see. It says intuition, clairvoyance, visualization, clarity, discernment, imagination, perception, and light. Yeah. So we've got two cards of like, you know, intuitive abilities here. So for some of you, your crown chakra has been unlocked. So this is really gorgeous energy. This is on top of the spirit guide as well. So some of you, you're just on point. I don't know where the point is, but you are on it. I feel like you just know something. And like whatever it is that you know is going to be proven to you several times, man. Or you just know who your person is or somebody knows that you are their person. Okay. I'm getting a lot of different messages. But somebody here is like, I mean, I don't know how many times to say mastermind. But somebody is. Somebody is like a true master of their mind. I feel like you can read people's thoughts. You can hear things. You could be like clear or um, audience. Is it clear audience? Like last night, for example, I woke up to the sound of my phone going off, but I had no messages. So I was tapped into someone else's phone because I heard ping and like I jumped and I looked around and I looked at my phone. There was no messages. So I was like, where the fuck did that noise come from? It was silent. There was nothing on in the house. It was just me. So I'm just like, oh my goodness, those, those abilities, when you have them, they can freak you out because it's just like, you know, I don't really want to be hearing things that are not here. Okay, but for some of you, that's what's going on and then oh my goodness look who comes up again um rome angel of romance okay so this could definitely be to do with love or this is just the love of astrology the love of um like psychics like maybe you just have a passion for for psychics in general okay you want to study more you want to learn more but i do feel like this is someone that has like the love bug for you 
I'm here like I want you back. I want you back for good. Or like I'm coming for you. So this could be like a new person that you haven't met before. The divine is bringing you. And I feel like you'll know um, because you guys are going to have this strong connection. Like it's just, it's like a spiritual thing. You know when someone's supposed to be with you because it's a spiritual thing. It's not a lustful thing. A lot of people like get things um, confused because they can't stay away from someone. Because like, oh my God, they're so sexy. And oh my God, they turn me on. Excuse me. You know when someone's supposed to be your other half because you connect on a spiritual level, okay? This is like kundalini vibes, like telepathy, okay? This person is probably into what you're into, okay? Yeah, you teach each other things also. Yeah, underneath that, we have Libra, you know, Venus, seven, air, relationships, justice, compromise, equilibrium, harmony, and laws. So I feel like for some of you, are going to be blessed with like a relationship here, okay? Gosh, I need to like, um, I know I keep saying that, guys. I'm going to do the love reading soon. I've just been so busy, but I need to jump on that. Okay, so I'm thinking, what deck do we want to use? Let's use this one. Please clarify the sign. Oh, okay, wait a minute. That was too many cords. Please clarify the sign. Oh, wait a minute. What is going on? Please clarify the psychic. Okay, well, I'm going to take this one because it flipped over. So we have, I am swept up in romance. Yeah. So I feel like someone is just like besotted with you. Someone is like enamored with you or you could be. Okay. But yeah, a lot of chivalry. That's what I was getting. I feel like someone is like falling in love with you or you're falling in love with someone. Or someone is falling in the love of the way you like, um, with the way that you read. If you were a reader, someone's like, oh my goodness, I love the way you interpretate things. I love watching you. I love listening to your voice. I just, oh, I just love it. I just love it. Okay. Also, you could be hearing, like, I love you, you know, I miss you, I want to be with you, okay, you could be, be hearing that, or, um, you know, like, maybe a song comes on, and it's, like, about love, and you go outside, and you see a, a billboard that says, I love you, and then, you know, you overhear a conversation, and the word love comes out, it's, you know, it's just, like, a lot of things are going to be telling you. This person is going to be talking to you in, in so many ways. Or if you're single, the universe is trying to let you know that, like, the angel of romance is here. It's like, I'm bringing you love, whether you like it or not. Okay, so, yeah, we have I am intelligent that wanted to come out. And this is in the role of the student. So, yeah, somebody has, like, a lot of knowledge about a lot of different things, okay? Um, maybe you want to share this knowledge with this person. Or, like I said, somebody's teaching you something. Or you could be going over, like, something that someone said. Okay, but somebody here is really smart. Someone's like really attracted to that. Like I said, someone here is like a sapiosexual. They're like, I like them smart and pretty. Okay, we don't want dumb, dumb, pretty bitches over here. No. Somebody wants someone that they can have like an intellectual, magical, intense. Um, woo, oh my goodness, I just got a wave of um, energy just then. Somebody, <laughs> who am I tapped into? Somebody wants, um, they want to be able to talk to someone that they can have, like, a really good conversation with. Let's just leave it at that, okay? But this is, like, I'm getting the energy of, like, you know, someone may, like, read the dictionary to you. Or they may read a book. And it's like, yeah, you keep reading to me. You keep fucking reading to me. But it's like, it turns someone on. It just, you just turn someone on. Or like I said, some of you are definitely teachers. Or maybe some of you are, like, in love with your, your lecturer, your, your student, or your mentor, or something like that. Okay, and then we have I am confident that wanted to come out. Okay, so yeah, be confident in your abilities because you are the shit. Okay, whatever you feel, whatever you see, whatever it is, it is what it is. Okay, because you said so. <laughs> I also feel like this is why someone loves you. It's almost like someone feels like you're witchy and like I said, like magical. And it's like, my goodness, like I have never met someone who's so accurate about so many things. Like how the fuck did you know that? Like someone is like amazed by you, okay? Yeah, then we have I am sassy and sexy at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody thinks that you're very sassy as well because you're intelligent, you're knowledgeable. So, you know, you know when you're smart or when you know a lot about a subject, like you're very well versed, it's, it's you, almost like you have that, I don't want to say arrogance, but you just, you know, it's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, okay? Like someone likes that, okay? <laughs> but yeah, someone thinks you're sexy. Maybe you have to cut someone out and tell them about themselves and like, yes, you tell me, you... You um you teach me something, baby. You tell me. You tell me where I was wrong and where, where I was right. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, stop it. Okay, stop it. Let's move on, shall we? 
So I'm hearing that that, that psychic shit turns me the fuck on. Yes. Okay, let's see where this is going. <laughs> let's see where it's going. So this is for my beautiful collective. Oh, something fell in my lap. What was it? Oh, the... Listen, we're just going to keep that. We're just going to keep it. Do you know what it says? Do you know what it says? It says divine feminine. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Say, what do we have? Say, what, what do we have, people? We have the divine feminine, divine masculine. He's looking at her like, listen, you are my divine match. Look at all that knowledge is just springing from your brain, girl. Coming through you naturally, girl. Woo! Some of you, you're like a natural beauty as well. Someone just thinks you're absolutely amazing. He's just like, yes, mm. You know I've been waiting on your ass all day, girl. On my life. Where you been on my life, girl? Girl? <laughs> I'm so ridiculous. But yeah, gorgeous energy. And like I said, some of you have mastered thyself. So this could just be your, your masculine and feminine energy. If this isn't like a love situation, you are just in love with yourself. You're in love with your craft. You're just in love with your own mind. Like, listen, I just know. I've been knowing shit. I'm just smart as fuck. Yes. I'm not a muggle. I'm not a muggle. Yes. Like, honestly, I'm getting this really, like, you know, upbeat energy. So this is really, really beautiful, okay? Gorgeous. Yeah, and someone thinks, like I said, someone's really attracted to the knowledge that you have, okay? Somebody just wants to treat you like an empress. So it could be dealing with a um, Libra, Taurus, or a Virgo. We have the Four of Wisdom at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, I feel like someone's, like, been thinking about you a lot. This could be somebody you're not in communication with. Yeah, we got the transformation again. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Wisdom, Gemini energy. Someone cannot stop thinking about you. Someone cannot stop going over something that you said. Okay. This is in the world of student. I am intelligent. So, it's almost like you say something and it just... It's like it just spins in someone's mind over and over and over and over and over again. Or like if you have a channel or you post things, maybe you post quotes or I don't know, you've posted a lecture or you sent something, someone like a PowerPoint presentation or something. It's like someone cannot stop watching. Like someone is just, you know what I mean? Or they're going over like a conversation, but like you're stuck in someone's mind here. Okay. And I feel like you really get to people. You see how her antennas are like um, wrapped around the swords and the swords represent our thoughts. You're like you're whatever you say, it's like entangled within someone's mind, within someone's brain here. Okay, honestly, I feel like you've. I feel like not not pussy whipped, but I feel like someone feels like trapped by you, but in a good way. Okay, this could also be like a spell as well. Someone's writing something down. Maybe you're asking the universe what you want. I want someone who's sexy, who's intelligent, who's not a coward, someone who's brave and such and such. You know. Yeah, the wheel of fortune. That's what I'm saying, people. Okay, you are, you're tapping in. You're spilling your own will. Someone's also looking into your birth chart as well. But I feel like fortune is coming to you. I also feel like somebody thinks that you're very fortunate. And like I said, somebody here definitely studies the stars. They study astronomy, astrology, or somebody studying you. They study the zodiacs. They study everything. Okay. Someone here's a fortune teller or something is a part of your destiny. Okay. <clears throat> Please can't find the spirit guide. So we have the two of wisdom that wanted to come out. So a lot of Libra and energy. And then we've got the eight of emotions at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like somebody wants to pour their emotions out to you. So this could have been somebody that you walked away from. Maybe there was like stagnant energy. Okay, something wasn't really being shifted. I feel like for some of you, you're not too sure what to do. So it's saying like, go within. Okay. Go within. What is your mind telling you to do? Use your discernment. Because this is in the role of the spirit guide. So maybe somebody here is like deciding to let something go so that they can like work something out with you. Yeah, because somebody wants like new love here, okay? Could be a Pisces or a Libra. Like I said, Gemini on the table we have here. And like I said, I feel like some of you are not too sure what to do or what to say when it comes to a situation. So it's saying like be confident in whatever your mind is telling you to do. The color purple is also very significant. Okay, I feel like you don't, because, you know, she's not really listening to anybody. You don't really need to listen to anyone. Just go with what you feel guided to do. Well, this is this person. Because this is on the role of spirit guide. I also feel like it's almost like someone is, like, in denial about your gifts. But you're, I feel like you prove your gifts every time, man. Every time. Okay. So, do I want to use another deck? Yes, I do. What's the, how long have we been on here? 
Okay, so let's see where this is going. So please clarify the Divine Feminine. Let's use the spiritual deck because it might give us something. Yeah, the Six of Swords, okay? So somebody feels guided towards you or somebody sees you as a guide. Now, for some of you, there could be distance between you and another person. Maybe somebody wants to come and travel to see you, okay? For some of you as well, your mind is traveling. So like I said, you know, that telepathy, that astro travel, you know, you just, you're tapped in everywhere and anywhere. Like you could just, you know... Your mind can explore the depths of other people's psyches, different realms, okay? Someone here is very magical. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups on oh, the bottom of the deck. So I feel like somebody wants a new start with you or this is new love. You're being guided to new love, okay? Maybe for some of you, you're walking away from someone and you're getting something new. For others of you, you're being brought to somebody who you already know especially with the eight of wisdom here because you know the eight the infinity symbol that these two cards is definitely someone that you know and then you know it's the eight nine ten that would make the ten of swords so like completion so we have magic that wanted to come out so what did i say before did i not say that some of you some um someone could be doing like a spell or something like that i feel like someone is trying to manifest you I feel like it's working because if you feel like you can, you, like I said, you're seeing this person's name or you're hearing love songs or something like that, that's because um, someone's calling you in, man. Or maybe you done something and it's working. Okay, but like I said, somebody here is very magical. Someone just looks at you and that's what they see, magic. Like someone's here, someone is like a unicorn here. Okay, someone's also a master of magic as well. So somebody here is like a magician. Maybe somebody here's like a creator, like they're very creative. Um, they could be like an artist of some kind. Excuse me, like a singer or something. Because a magician is just someone who can turn nothing into something. Okay, it's just somebody who's just very skilled. They can mix different materials, different elements, different resources together and make something really beautiful out of it. They can create change. They can create illusions also. We have the Ace of Swords here. So I feel like somebody here is the truth. Somebody wants to tell you the truth. Also, somebody has brilliant ideas. Again, if you want to manifest something, I feel like now is the time because the energy of magic is coming out a lot, okay? And then we have the Ten of Wands that wanted to come out. So could be dealing with the... um. I think this represents the Empress because it's the number three, which I think is the number three in the tarot. So, yeah, someone here is divine, okay? Something miraculous is also going to happen, so it's going to feel like magic is what I'm hearing. And then the Ten of Wands, okay? So, yeah, I feel like someone's really burdened in their mind here. Like, something's weighing heavy on someone's mind here. I feel like they just need to let something go. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but it does not have to be. So, yeah, I feel like your spirit, guys, whatever this is pertaining to, whether it's love, a situation, or whether it's your abilities, maybe you're a bit afraid. The divine is just saying, just let it go. Be confident in what it is that you're feeling or what it is that you're thinking because, um, because you're right on the money, okay? There's no need to be stressed or to be worried, okay? When it comes to a situation, because, yeah, someone, someone has a lot that they need to say here. And you see, in this deck, the Eight of Cups, she's pouring out the emotion. She's pouring out the water. Even though, like, she's surrounded by it. She's in the sea. But <laughs> do you know what I mean? She's pouring shit out. And then we've got eight here so many times. We've got Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and then the Eight of um, Swords. So eight, eight, eight is very significant. Yeah, and then the future... So yeah, like I said, some of you are fortune tellers. You can view, see the future, regardless of whether you realize that or not. Like I said, someone's brain here, someone's brain power is being transformed. You're got you're you're ascending. I also feel like someone is in your future, or someone's coming to get you. You know, the eight of cups walks towards the nine of cups. Their wish fulfillment. So somebody could be walking towards you, or you could be walking towards someone. But maybe there was a lot of stress. When it came to this person or this situation, or maybe for some of you, you've gone through a lot of things and you kind of just feel stressed or burdened. I also feel like someone is like sweating you. Okay. Sorry, guys. Every time like, I try to sit down. Oh, there we go. Oh, someone is like, you know, I feel like somebody could be intimidated by your psychic abilities and your gifts is kind of what I'm getting here. I feel like you're a bit intimidating to some people. Let's just go over this again. Please clarify the Six of Swords. <clears throat> okay, yeah, the Six of Cups. So we've got 66 here. So you could be dealing with a soulmate. 
And then we got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Emotions. Did I not just say the Eight of Cups goes towards the Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment? Come on now. So yeah, someone is wishing for you. We're going to put the Nine of Cups on top of the magic. So I feel like you're going to get what you want in a situation or someone really wants you, man. Or if there's like a job that you want, you're going to get it. Or if you want to get onto a course or something like that. But this is definitely somebody from your past or somebody that you have a soulmate connection with. For some of you, you could have children with this person or you will be. I feel like someone is completely obsessing over you. And again, the dark and the light energy coming together here. So I feel like you are someone's balance. Maybe somebody wants to reveal something about themselves to you. I feel like someone's trying to deny how they feel, okay? Please clarify the Ten of Wands, but they can't deny it anymore. Someone's like, you know, having a lot of thoughts about you, okay? Yet, yeah. oh, we have the Three of Swords, could be dealing with the Libra. So we have um, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra is all over the table, a little bit of Taurus, Gemini, and then we've got Virgo at the bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles, okay? See, I feel like someone is like stressed, they're brokenhearted without you. We've got the Two of Swords to the Three, so someone is not confident about approaching you or about, or someone's not confident when it comes to their abilities. I feel like someone sees you and you're beautiful, you know, you're just out here just living you, doing you, and someone is studying you, but I feel like someone's not doing too well. They're like missing you. Okay, maybe somebody was torn between you and someone else or between you and something else and they chose wrong. But like I said, somebody here needed to grow here. So if this is someone who like broke your heart or whatnot, I feel like they have elevated to, to, to you know, <clears throat> to meet you on your level. So I, I just feel like it's just, it's just, a, it's a, it's just like, when are you going to solidify the connection is what I'm hearing. For others of you, you may have moved on and you've met someone new and this person is absolutely distraught when they come into this information. Okay, yeah, we got the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you are like single, okay? Very independent, very self-sufficient. But I do feel like someone cannot let you go here. They're in love with you, okay? But some of you, if you are, like I said, if you like are an independent artist or an independent psychic or you do something independently, I feel like it's going to go really well. I feel like people are like stressed around you because of your potential. Someone's also like looking at your pictures or looking at your photos a lot, okay, with these two energies here. But someone here is like absolutely divine, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I feel like something's going to transform in your life. If you have been single for a long time, or like I said, people just keep breaking your heart. People just can't get it together. I feel like that's about to change. Okay. Someone is coming for you. Someone is a part of your future here. I do feel like it's this person here. They're kind of just sitting there and they don't know what to do. The seven of wands and the, you see the eight of cups in this deck. It's like he's being haunted. It's like them spirit guides, them angels, them demons, they're haunting this person to get up and make a move because he's not walking anywhere. He's just like, Aah. so I feel like someone is like burdened with regret or guilt or I don't know. Maybe someone fears that you won't take them back. So like I said, for some of you, it's a new person. Some of you, it's an old person. Some of you are just single and you're just doing your best and you're about to be hit by the love bug and you, you don't even know it. Okay. So different folks for different, different strokes for different folks reading for multiple energies so i'm getting multiple stories okay interestingly enough look what's here someone is stalking your social media so i did just say someone could be looking at your um <clears throat> pictures so we have arcane that wanted to come out it says not all needs to be revealed keep them wanting more so yeah that scorpionic energy so i feel like maybe someone is like watching you from a distance or secretly and you don't know i also feel like you're very mysterious to a lot of people maybe you're not letting people know what you're doing and how you're doing it you're not letting people know your moves but i feel like it's you it's because you're you're a mystic you're a natural mystic so i was like how do you do that it's like, i just i just know how to do it i don't worry okay the magician never reveals their secrets okay <laughs> we have success at the bottom of the deck so yeah some of you are very successful or you're about to be okay Oh, envy came out but we know we're just going to ignore that okay this card wanted to come back again at the bottom of the deck so we'll just keep that and these two cards so we have fierce it reads your confidence intimidates people oh well so yeah i do feel like people are pressed like you know you're very confident in what it is that you do you're very skilled at what it is that you do and you know people feel some type of way about that also i feel like this person could be afraid of your abilities as well because it's kind of like, you know, like if you're like a psychic and you get into relationships, people are afraid of you because they can't get away with anything. They can't hide themselves. I feel like you can hide yourself and you're hard to read, but you can read everyone else. 
you can read this person that frightens them. But my whole thing is, why are you scared? Like, what are you hiding? The only way that you're going to be scared if someone can read you is if you have something to hide. So if you're with your divine counterpart here, you know, you shouldn't hide anything from each other. Like, it's your... It, you're you 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 are one you're in tune you know i don't understand that but okay then we have sweetness it says you catch more bees with honey a sweet or kind gesture so yeah chivalry i feel like someone looks at you as very sweet and somebody may want to do something sweet for you something that you're not expecting okay so what do you need to do what does the universe want you to know or this person <clears throat> I just want one card at a time. Yeah, you're, me you're being a mean bitch, stop. So maybe somebody was very mean to you and that's what they're reflecting on. Like I said, somebody has elevated here. So they have learned, they have understood, you know, I can't keep being mean. I can't keep being horrible to people. I can't keep treating people however I want. If I want someone, especially if the divine sent you like this type of energy or this type of energy for some of you, you could have been a distorted feminine and somebody was a divine masculine. You didn't treat them well. You know, just pick whatever side you are on. Someone knows, as it says, you catch more bees with honey. Someone knows that they need to be sweet if they want sweetness in their life. Or if they want to be with you, someone knows that they have to give you what they want or you're going to get exactly what you want. But for some of you, maybe you need to stop being mean. Maybe you are a bit sassy and you are a bit intimidating and you kind of hurt people's feelings with the way that you talk. So maybe you need to kind of like tone that down a little bit, especially if it's um, with someone that you um, that you love or that you're attracted to. I don't understand why people are always mean to people they're attracted to. That shit's not sexy, okay? So maybe you're realizing this with the scholar. Oh, someone didn't like what I said that, but it's true. That whole tree and mean keeping clean, that's toxic. It's not sexy. It's not sexy at all. Don't be mean to people to get them to chase you and shit. Just be nice, okay? That's what love is about. Then we have, you're a goddess. Stop allowing people to treat you like you're regular. How many times has this card come up in the collective? Exactly. Someone knows that you, you, can't, you can't be treating me like I'm any other bitch or any other nigga okay i'm a divine feminine or a divine masculine out here period yeah spite produces the worst karma don't be stupid so yeah maybe someone is going through karma with all this libra energy here and that is their karma they had to learn a lesson and um who don't hear will feel yeah someone is feeling it because it's in the um the row of the three of swords here okay now for some of you like i said some of you have moved on you're doing really well maybe some of you are single independent and like i said you've got love in the future so you may be thinking well i'm single right now that's why it says the future because it's coming okay um for others of you you've moved on with a new person and i feel like someone is feeling it maybe somebody took too long with the stalemate energy Someone that didn't, you know, I feel like spirit guides are trying to nudge someone to approach you or they're trying to nudge, nudge someone to kind of like change their ways. And I feel like, you know, if this person isn't going through it already, they will. Because somebody wasn't listening. This is like my card of like, you know, yeah, as it says, who don't hear will feel. If you're not hearing what I'm saying, I'm going to make you feel what the fuck I'm saying. And this is the divine saying that, okay? So someone is going to go through a couple more heartbreaks and they're going to learn a really um, brutal lesson so that they can elevate. And it says, hey, I miss know it all. I said what I said. And you know that I'm always right. So yeah, someone knows that you're always right. Like I said in the beginning, I feel like someone is just like a mastermind here. It's just like, how do you be knowing shit? Someone just knows you're always right. It is what it is. Maybe you warn someone about something or about someone they weren't trying to listen to you. So it's almost like this person has to swallow their pride and say, listen, you know what? You taught me a lot. You know, I love you. I want to have a future with you. You know you're always right, honey, because, you know, you are... Um, oh, I just said honey. Somebody calls you honey because I never say that. I never say honey. Oh. So I'm getting sweetness here. Oh, Shun energy. But yeah, someone here is just a mastermind. And it is what it is. And the divine masculine has to follow orders from the divine feminine because she is the most in tune with the divine. That's just how it goes. People just don't want to accept that. But that's what it is. Okay. You need these energies to work well together. The overall energy, remember, is celebrate sisterhood in a big world, so in a big way. So somebody needs to celebrate the feminine energy that they have with them, that they have that has been sent to them, or they have inside of them, man or woman, it doesn't matter. So I feel like, like I said, this is what is going to transform. Someone here has completely transformed. 
whether it's you or another person and as it says you know someone is stalking your social media so i feel like someone's looking at your pictures and you know it is what it is okay so should we do an extra card why not so we have healing, yeah. Someone wants to heal something with you or something is going to be healed in a relationship or just in general. Okay, I just want one card at a time. Thank you. We have the inner strength. So I feel like someone's like trying to gather up all the strength and all the courage that they possibly can to, you know, come towards you or someone is just needs to be really strong when it comes to um this lesson that they're about to learn or you have got a lot of strength like you're very resilient okay yeah and then we have morality that wanted to come out yeah someone needs to do the right thing as it says who don't hear will feel that's the universe like maybe somebody was listening to snakes they weren't listening to mother earth they weren't listening to nature they weren't listening to the divine feminine so you know it is what it is, but something's going to be set right in a situation, okay? And then we have balance. Yes, Libra energy. Again, something's going to be balanced out in your life. So gorgeous energy. <clears throat> so we'll just pull a little bit more and then sovereign. And what did I say about some of you are very resilient? So yeah, you're sovereign. Understand this about yourself. I feel like this person has understood this about you too. Period. Point. Blank. And I feel like you've gone through a lot. And, you know, you come out of it looking fabulous every time, okay? Every time. So just one card from this deck. What word do we have? We have, oh, oh, so wealthy. Yes, okay. And then we have, oh, so stressful. Yeah, like I said, one of you's doing all right and the other one's stressed, okay? The other one's stressed. <laughs> It is what it is, but I don't feel like you're going to be very stressful long or the other person. But abundance is coming to you. Somebody as well, they just got a wealth of knowledge, okay? If it's not actual money. And then channel youthful, youthful exuberance, okay? So some of you have healed your inner child. You've done a lot of work. Some of you are very playful. You're very lighthearted. You may be looking at a situation differently. Let's get a bit more energy from this. Who you are shouldn't hide, yeah. You're a butterfly, emerge. You don't need to hide your beauty. And it says focus on your own peace. So, okay, I thought like for some of you, you have been focusing on your peace, yeah, and expand your mind. Like I said, somebody has reads here. Somebody's very studious. They like to read. They like to research. Or this is about you. Maybe somebody prejudged you as well because we've got a lot of beautiful energy here. Somebody kind of put you in a category or in a box, but it's like, no, I'm handsome and very knowledgeable. I'm beautiful and very knowledgeable. You know, I'm a fucking mastermind bitch. You're everything. That's what the divine feminine is. That's what the divine masculine is. All the kings and the queens in one, okay? So gorgeous energy. So we're just going to leave it at that. Thank you so much. I hope this reading resonates for you. Please not hesitate to comment, like, share, show some love. And I should be seeing you guys very soon for the February readings for all 12 signs. And then obviously, like I said, the signs that do the best will get an additional reading for um for not February, what are we talking about? We're in February for March, sorry. I'll be seeing you to do the March signs and whoever shows the most love and support in the March readings, they will get additional March videos throughout the month, okay? I might come back with the um, um, elemental readings as well. If you guys enjoyed those, I will be doing that until the month ends. And um, I know I need to go on my love channel. I'm just so tired, guys. I've been working so hard. I've just been doing a lot. So I'm so tired. I was like, oh my God, my channel. <laughs> so um, yeah, I had to come and make a video for you guys. But um, I'll be back very soon, okay? But yeah, beautiful reading. Um, I hope this resonates for you. And goodbye and good day. Toodles.